Example 4 gives us another price demand equation, in this case already solved for x, and we're asked to determine whether demand is elastic, inelastic, or has unit elasticity, and then interpret that result. So in this case, we've looked at a couple of examples of calculating elasticity. We would want to switch over to Wolfram Alpha, but our result here would be 40 P squared over 6,000 minus 20 P squared. Once we have our elasticity of demand function, we could evaluate it at P equals 11, which would generate a value of 1.352, which is greater than 1. So what we could say is that at a price point, of $11, demand is in this case elastic, so what that means is that increasing price will decrease our revenue. Because again, in an elastic situation, an increase in price would result in a larger decrease in demand. So that would actually negatively impact our revenue or decrease our revenue. In example five, we have another price demand function. Again, we would want to calculate our elasticity of demand function. And here we would get 4p plus 0.2p squared over 800 minus 4p minus 0.1p squared. Evaluating that at e of 40 would give us a result of 1, which means our demand is unit. So to interpret that, we could say that at a price point, of $40 for this item, our demand is unit. So what that would mean is that increasing price will not impact revenue. So as we saw before with unit demand, an increase in price would result in exactly the same decrease in demand. So we are bringing in more money per item, but selling fewer items, and those two values would essentially just cancel each other out. So increasing price or decreasing price would have no impact on revenue in this case. In our last example, we're given another price demand function, which in this case isn't solved for x. So we just want to keep in mind that idea of first solving our function, which in this case would give us 900 minus 1200p Turning to Wolfram Alpha to calculate our elasticity of demand function, we would get 1200p over 900 minus 1200p. And then we're asked what price will maximize revenue. So this is a slightly different question than what we've tackled before, although it is a problem that we've actually considered, just a different way of phrasing it. So if we want to maximize revenue, we would want to be in a situation where increasing price or decreasing price wouldn't affect our revenue. So that would mean we would want demand to be unit, or we would want E of P to be equal to 1. So if we can find that point where demand is unit or equal to 1, we would have our optimal price point, or the price where our revenue is maximized. So again, we could turn back to Wolfram Alpha to solve our elasticity of function, set equal to 1, which in this case would give us a price point of 0 0.38. So our optimal price point for the item in this scenario would be 38 cents. If we were to increase the price or decrease price, 
we would see the same change in demand, so there would be no effect on revenue.